Uh, one quick follow-up question, I guess, um, for you, Ron. In terms of, of the movie, and I, I know you kind of had a, a blank slate to do what you wanted, so when yes. it came time to uh, slaughter many of the characters, um, and we know if we don't blame for Optimus Prime, we understand. Um, but how did you decide, okay, it's going to be Ironhide? Did you pick random characters, or did you have to pick characters with some impact to have the gravitas to what was happening? In that well, I, I had a, a clean slate to work with, and I was given carte blanche. And I did want to have a female Autobot, which I got some resistance on, but I said, my daughter's female, she likes this whole <laughs> thing, and there are a lot of smart girls that like it. Why exclude them? They need to be a female character. So there was RC. Mm -hmm. I wanted human beings to interact with the uh, Autobots and the Decepticons, and I wanted a kid there. And I got a little resistance, but then they said, okay, that'll work. And everything was agreeable until they said, you have to kill Optimus Prime. And I said, I don't want to kill Optimus Prime. They say, we own you, you'll kill him. <laughs> and I said, if I do, he'll come back to life. You have to bring him back to life. Never. Not going to happen. 20 minutes later, he's back. <laughs> and he continues to be back. And now every episode of anything new with Transformers, they kill Optimus Prime, and he's back by the second act. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I uh, was part of the new, the new era in which you kill the major hero and bring them back in time for dinner. So, but I, I was right. You cannot kill Big Daddy and the family. Who do you replace Big Daddy with? The mailman? If the mailman's banging mom, maybe. But, you know, you just can't do it. And you shouldn't do it. So uh, my book, I Killed Optimus Prime, So Sue Me, reveals all of these secrets. <laughs> I recommend it. It'll change your life. And it might change mine. So. Okay. But I guess it's weird that everyone made a big deal about Prime getting destroyed, but like, I know you might more or less evolved Megatron to Galvatron, but he's gone too, and he never came back. you think both dads would have been an impact? Well, in a bad family, and I'll quote Tolstoy again. Everybody know Tolstoy, third base, Cincinnati, 1940. <laughs> yes. Well, I knew you knew him, Leo. Anyway, Tolstoy said, all happy families are the same. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Well, the Decepticons are an unhappy family because you can't trust Big Daddy, Megatron, and you can't trust Big Mama, Starscream, and you can't, they can't trust each other. And they are out there waiting for an opportunity to destroy each other so that they can be what the predecessor was. That's an unhappy family. In an unhappy family, there are many temporary fathers. And there are a lot of permanent mothers. And I mean mother in the real sense of the word. That's who they are. They are mothers. And that means they can be eliminated. And the family doesn't fall apart because it's never been together. So it's not the same effect if you knock off Megatron as if you knock off Optimus Prime. We are used to rotten people remaining rotten no matter what their title is, producer, director, and so on. <laughs> I just want to touch on something you said earlier. Um, I want to congratulate you for breaking the gender ceiling. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, because I tried to do that a couple years earlier when I was first developing the characters. I was trying to introduce female, female personality type uh, Transformers characters when I first wrote the bios. Hasbro rejected it outright. He said, no, this is a boy's toy. You can't sell action figures with, that are female to boys. So it was rejected right, off, right out of hand. It's, it's crazy because imagination in the realm of imagination is gender neutral. You can have a brilliant mind, an inventive mind, a searching mind, and it doesn't have to wear a skirt or pants. It doesn't have to wear anything. Well, then you really are in Hollywood and you're rated X, but <laughs> another barrier to be overcome, I'm sure. Right, thanks, guys.